What's up, everybody? I'm Jimmy Joe, and we're back with more of The Last Door. And I need to find some kind of string. If I blow through the paper roll, maybe I can manage to make the feather fly. Yeah, nice. I don't know why that works, but we got something. Um, what was I saying? Something about... I don't know. We're, we're looking to finish the mannequin so that he can finish his masterpiece. I got it. It's a big black and feather with some greasy spots on the base. It will not fix the... Okay, well, the feather... Something. It looks like the layers... It's illegible. It's got some inky things on it. Maybe I can draw with it? No. Anything? Nope, I can just play it. Okay. So now I need to figure out what I need to use this um, feather for. Hmm. My reflection stares back at me through the grime. Okay, so there's literally nothing in that room or this room that I can do with either of these things. I don't know what the ticket's for. I'll probably get to the ticket later. Big wall mirror is covered in dust. I can't recognize my face through it. Was there something that I missed in this room? Why is it beside the window? Okay, so I probably have to go downstairs? Is this something that I should know about? Like... No? Okay, so... Is there anything down here that I have missed? bottle of something or other. I put the thing in there? No? Uh, mask? Is there something out here that I can eat? Oh! Maybe the resin? The resin is thick and sticky. I can't just pick it up with my hands. Okay. Oh! Feather. Feather with resin. I have to stick the pieces together with the resin. This face reminds me of the girl from the paintings. Bam! Okay, cool. I'm sure somebody was watching this being like, Oh, the resin outside. Resin's used to hold things together, like porcelain. I mean, it's what they use to fix glass and stuff. And porcelain has the same kind of consistency. Yeah, well, I can't hear you through the the internet and the time barrier, so just uh, bear with me if you can. Daphne, you're back. Are you a figment of my mental, uh, melancholic mind? Are you the ghost of my dying music? No, it doesn't matter because you are with me again and I know now know exactly how to compose my masterpiece. Please. Take my violin now that I have completed my work. I no longer have use for it. I need to be with her. Go to the mausoleum and place the violin where her heart lies. The angel of my music will guide you. Here, take the key to the mausoleum, my friend. Uh, I need to get out of this place. In the fog, we haven't eyes, but we count on our ears to find the way. You must search for the smurg what's a smurg it is what the crows are searching for it is what you search for too okay music and singing surround me you look for the smurg oh joy so we go to the fog and we listen for birds i think i 
think we listen to For the Birds. I understand why they walk slow in the dark, but I wish he would walk a little faster. Especially now that we know the layout. Alright. So now we have to listen for birds. Shh. Be very quiet. We're listening for birds. Those don't sound like birds. That sounds like ocean. Am I looking for ocean? I'm looking for this one. No! Got lost in the fog and I start to orient myself somehow. Okay, well, what about this way? Maybe it is the ocean. Man, every time the neighbor gets home, the dog downstairs just starts clawing up the wall. This one? I've gone through that one before. Maybe it's the ocean that I'm looking for. I hear crows. What? No, I heard crows. I thought I was supposed to look for crows. Is that it? Oh my gosh. Alright, let's go read our fortunes at the place. Money is of no matter. Come close to me now. The mask. Empty eyes stare at you and a voiceless mouth calls to you. Its lips twist and a snarl with what it has seen what is still to be seen you think it is a stranger's face but it is your own the scream it begs you to escape mute it shrieks your lost name sharp painful and burning its voice is one you know the puppet threads hanging from an immense hand of dust converge upon a single point your mind where memories oblivions and shadows cluster as one it is your friend and foe your home and your prison this isn't gonna help me at all i don't understand what does it all mean i can't unpick these uns I can't unpick these uns. The threads you have woven in destiny are too tight, child. But you will. Oh yes, you will. It is not for me to say, but for you to discover. Remember that in the fog, we see only what is closest to us. The bird remains in the distant, but if you wish to leave, you must follow the path of the bird. You No more directions can I give. Oh my god. So, again, I'm looking for birds. Or I'm listening for birds. Maybe I have to go all the way to the bottom and then come back. That's not birds. That's not birds. That's not birds. How much you want to bet it's that, uh, that archway that, like, you just have to walk away from it, walk back to it. This one. Nope. I'm gonna try it. Nope. It's not that one. I need to hear a bird. 
Oh, that's not what I clicked on. I clicked to move. I'm supposed to be looking for this bird. And I can't hear a bird. <sighs> I think I've been in every single one of these. Maybe it's... No, I heard the bird! We heard the bird, right? It wasn't just me. I swear to God. <laughs> this this stupid stupid path. After much thinking and uh you know, cheating, I decided to try to figure out what was next. And it's not our time to go into the fog yet, I guess. So the key was for this back entrance and now we are underground here lies an angel great pity must felt on those who did not hear her pity for those who blessed her by naive grace not shaking by her heavenly voice trembling their souls into divine ascendance here lies daphne god rest her soul so I was reading all of the other stuff while I was, um, the sarcophagus is broken. Where on earth is the coffin? Who could have done this? While, while I was reading it, I realized that I didn't actually, um, understand what he meant by go and put it on his heart, and now I do. Trail of soil leads to the sarcophagus to this hole. Was the coffin transported through here? Can I put this here? Nope. Oh, it's an actual hole. Okay, so we're here. Can I open this? I can open this. Oh, I see now. It's locked. Look through the window. I can't see anything in the dirty window plan. More dirty window panes. What was that? Maybe I can see something if I put it in the keyhole. Hello? Nothing? Darkness there. Nothing more. <gasps> Jesus Christ! Duh! I don't want to open it now! Oh my god! I don't want to open it after something like that happens. With the help of River, the Nia, Nia Daphne hid from the sun in the shadowy mists. She changed her skin from strong bark so that her heart was forever concealed, her dance frozen in the rustle of a thousand leaves. So she turned into a tree? Books unpronounceable names in dead languages. Um, hello, Mr. Man. I beg your pardon, sir, if I haven't startled you. What are you doing here in the dark? Why well, am I reading these marvelous books? In the dark? But how can you see the words without any light? That is, the, that is the only way to see them, really. That is, if you want to see the words on the other side of the page, in the words from the shadows. Shadow always hides from the light, you know. So, they can only be written in the darkness. Are you the owner of the bookshop? Oh, goodness, no. The bookshop doesn't belong to anyone. Uh, not since I found it here. I am just a guest. An explorer of these ancient tomes. Man of weird appearance. Have you seen the man pass this way? He has red hair, tall, and wears a cape. Oh yes, I know of whom you speak. He, I see him here from time to time pursuing the books. Um, he would pick one off the shelf, glance at it, and then put it back. He never. He and I never spoke, though. Why do you ask? I can guess that he is calling me, guiding me somehow, and can you tell which books the man pursued? Well, 
Oops, I meant to pick the other one. That's fine. Let me think. Ah, yes, I recall looking at an unexplored places of the Empire, an excellent tome, very revealing and very rare. This bookshop is very fortunate to have a copy of it in its collection. I'm not sure where it is now, but I'm sure it can't be far. Smurg. Do you know the importance of Smurg? Smurg, Smurg. Oh, yes, the Bird King. There is a book of ancient poetry here that makes mention of him. I am sure you can find it here somewhere. Ah, excuse you. Pardon the interruption, sir. I will leave you to your reading. Uh, collection of books. Cool. Let's go in here. I hear a woman's voice in the distance. It sounds as if she's singing. A lullaby? Uh, none of these books I can pick up. What is this? A book lies on the floor. Its spine reads, Unexplored Places of the Empire. Page has been marked. Places of the Internal Fog. Places of the Internal Fog. Also known as Zyla. It is a unique bay in the East Balshore near the jungles of Bengala. It is surrounded by tall, snow-capped mountains, usually covered in mist. The waters of the bay are very dangerous and rarely visited. Okay. What the hell is this? I don't, I don't want to go in there. Tree. The remains of a coffin it looks like it was burst from the inside. Well, she said she was the tree, right? I mean, the common on the person on the inside. How about here? Woman was turned into the tree. So, on the ground lounge was a book titled Songs of Zyla. The page of which it is open to has been torn out, but the remaining fragment identity title so, uh, identifies the song title, The Search for Schmerg. Ooh, what's this? I see something caught in the branches that appears to be a page torn from the book of love. Can I pick it up then? Can I pick it up? I cannot pick it up. I guess I have to go down. What is going on here? Cracked... Uh, a cracked wall, a long green vine has grown through it. Where am I now? There is a note partially absconded by mud. I mustn't fall asleep. I hear them crawling. I hear them gnawing. Rats. Too many of them. They know I'm here. I mustn't fall asleep. They stalk me. Coming closer. Closer. I can see their blood red shimmering or glimmering in the darkness. I must not fall asleep. A pile of ragged clothes caked with mud and full of holes. Fun. Is this the heart? The dead roots once great tree filled the ca cavernous sewer. A strange green moss covers its surface, and there is a great crack along its length. Okay, cool. You're welcome. The violin has disappeared amongst the roots as if it swallowed up. The trunk seems to be expanding. That noise came from above. As incredibly, the roots seem to move as if growing before my very eyes. Gotta make it up to the next floor. Was there anything on the other side? Probably not, but I'm gonna check. What is this? Fall asleep. Do not fall asleep. Do not fall asleep. What is this? Rats! Oh, I see.
Wow, that looped around quite a bit, actually. All right. Assuming I still have to go up. Oh, oh, wait, what? The tree has grown! Hooray! Some of the branches have crashed through the window and into the street. Looks as if the tree has come alive. The branches have grown quickly and broken out the window and sprouted outside. The tree sheet captured in the branch is gone, though, gone now, though, and from where it was... Strong light coming from? The window has been broken by the tree's branches and its sudden growth. Intense rays of light stream into it. the bookshop. Okay, well, I guess I have to leave the bookshop to go find the note. Whatever the note is. I'm so glad that I can walk faster. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say. Man, still here. All right. Excuse me, good sir. Please don't let there be a weird monster here. What is this? With the help of River... Oh, I already saw that one, didn't I? Right? Yeah. This way? This way? Ah! Uh, pa paper sheet captured in the branches is now within my reach. On the page is a strange poem. First into the winds, they sought for the king, but lost were their birds, they kept suffering, and they flew into the sea. Oh... I have to go into the fog four times to get out. Okay, so first is the wind, so we need to find the wind and then go through that one. Those are birds. Okay. That's the wind. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. First the wind, then the birds. All right, and then we flew to the sea. Oh, that's creepy. And then there was silence. So I need to find silence now. Silence. Alrighty. I think we did it. We just didn't... We went into the fog way too early. Alright, man went in here. I don't know how long this episode has been, because I'm going to cut out a lot of the wandering around and doing nothing, and I think it's been like 20 minutes of that. So if this is a little bit longer, then so be it. But uh, I just wanted to make sure that I got some content in here. But I will leave it right here until next episode. Uh, we made it through the fog, we did everything that we needed to in the town and the sewers and whatnot, and we will find out what this ticket means next time 
on Chimmy Joe Gaming. So thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time for more of The Last Door. Bye.